Buddy, how are you all? Thank you. <laughs> so, um, you know, there's many different ways to have a family in our state, and of course, we celebrate all of them. Uh, this uh, is really about uh, accessing information uh, for kids uh, when they reach adulthood about uh, their parents, and, and uh, you know, these days, this is a more direct way to do it because many of them otherwise have to spend many hours doing it indirectly, and they log in and they track things back and find cousins and identify. This is just more direct and cuts out of the the middleman. So I want to thank uh, Representative Tipper, Representative Soper, Senator Fenberg, and Senator Gardner for their work on this bill. I'll turn it over to Senator Fenberg. Thank you, Governor, uh, for signing this bill. This is uh, an incredibly important bill. Um, we are going to be the first state in the country to have a policy like this that says that there is an inherent right for an individual to know where they come from, who they are, what their identity is, because that helps us form who, who, who we're going to be. Right? It's hard to know uh, who you want to be in the future if it's still unclear with who you are from your past. So this is an incredibly important bill. Um, I think we're absolutely going to see states uh, uh, replicate this policy all over the country um, in one way or another because uh, it, it is just the right thing to do. We live in a time now when um, uh, you know, genetics isn't everything. Um, but genetics is becoming an integral part of, of so many different aspects of our lives, whether it's medical care uh, or 23andMe and Ancestry.com. It is uh, technology that is something that we can embrace at home. Um, and a lot of people are going to find out this information anyways. So it's incredibly important that we have a law that just sort of like lays out the rules of the road of, uh, of how it happens. So a donor, uh, the, the family, the uh, donor conceived person, they all know exactly what the rules are and what the process will be for them to figure out um, what their genetic identity and background is. When I first started talking about this bill, uh, I talked to a couple of folks and, um, you know, I was like, I have this bill idea, I want to regulate sperm in the state of Colorado. And people were like, huh, I'm not sure I'm going to get on board with that. I don't know that there's a need for that. Um, but after many conversations and a whole lot of jokes, uh, of course, um, uh, we got to a point where uh, so many folks uh, understood the need for this um, and that there really is a, a, a gap in our law to protect these individuals and families. Um, so much so that in the Senate it passed uh, 35 to 0. And I'm incredibly proud of that bipartisan support. I want to thank Senator Gardner for being with me all along the way and in really understanding this issue. And, not batting an eye and being willing to have those hard conversations and talk about topics that sometimes are uncomfortable. But um, as we've seen in the state of Colorado, we are willing to have those conversations. We're willing to push the envelope. Um, I wanna thank the, the House uh, sponsors as well because uh, you have been pushing that envelope in many different ways and, and we're all in this together uh, to make sure every family has the resources and ability to have a family, but to do it in a way that uh, appreciates and respects the rights of everybody, including the children that are res a result of that family creation. So, pass it off to the other sponsors, but genuinely, thank you, Governor, for signing this bill. Thanks, Representative Tipper. Thank you, Governor, and thank you, Senator, and Representative. What uh, Senator Gilbert did mention is that when he started working on a bill about sperm, someone said, oh, go look to the way that works on egg bills, and that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and that was, um, I've done a lot of work in the assisted reproductive technology space, in part because we were able to start a campaign that and so it's an issue that's become near and dear to me. Um, we realize how how important this is to so many in terms of building a family and this is one of those bills I think all of us as, as co-primes can attest to this that when people talked about their stories when they explained what it was that they thought what it happened it changed hearts and minds. I mean as the senator said unanimous in the senate and a really robust bipartisan support in the house. Um, it's a first of its kind in the country, but as the Senator said, I, I, I think it's gonna be um, one of many. And I'm so proud that we here in Colorado are leading on this issue. I wanna thank all the people that worked on this, the people that have come from the National Council, who um, you know, told their stories to strangers late at night in the last you know, weeks of session where it was really particularly stressful. Um, this win is for you all, and I know this is something you've been fighting for a long time, and so with my extreme gratitude to the governor, I'm really excited to be here today and be part of what will be a team of legislation. Representative Sober. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Representative Tipper and Senator Benberg, also Senator Gardner. Um, 
Representative Tipper came over and, and asked me if I'd like to be part of this bill. Uh, she said it's a simple uh, egg and sperm bill. Uh, <laughs> and that kind of caught me off guard, to tell you the truth. Um, but then as uh, she was talking about um, Ancestry.com and 23 and Me and how the era of anonymity is over, that through technology, uh, no one can uh, donate and have essentially 100 offspring or more and somehow hide behind this veil that they will forever be unknown. And being a big fan of genealogy, and as someone who um, also is a little bit obsessive compulsive, uh, as my wife will tell you, uh, really got into the genealogy side of things, uh, I could relate to 110%. And the ability to know who you are, what your medical history is. And when you reach 18, the ability to actually find out um, you know, who, the, uh, who the donor was. Uh, it's incredibly important. And it's something that uh, will pave the way for other states. They will eventually call this the Colorado model. So thank you, Governor. It's a great day. Great. Good official here. Ready? Mm -hmm. It's official. Congratulations. <laughs>